So here's a quick screencast on how to set up Dreamweaver. So first I set up a folder, I set up an images folder, and I'm going to drop all the images that I want to use in my one module into that images folder. I'm also going to put my attachments in there. There's a couple of PDFs, although you shouldn't use too many PDFs. Okay, I've got that all set up. Now I'm ready to go into Dreamweaver. So I go into Dreamweaver and I'm going to set up a new site. I'm going to call it module two. And I'm going to point to the folder that I've created for my module two on my computer's desktop and choose it. Oh, where's module two? Come on, there it is. Choose it. Yay. And then I'm going to go to advanced settings. I'm going to make it relevant to document and then point to my images folder, choose it. So relevant to document, not site root. Save. So now you notice that my uh, files here, it shows all the images, the folder in it, and I'm going to add more pages to my site now. Get that out of the way. So I'm going to, in quick succession, add a, uh, a new page. I'm going to call it my welcome page. So create it. Save it as welcome. I'm just using command save or a, a control save on my keyboard. Give it a name. It automatically closes my folder. Another page. I'm going to call this objectives. And again, save it. And then I'm going to play another page. I'm going to call this activity. And activity. Here we go. And then I'm going to click save one more time. Now I'm going to go back to my. So you can see in my folder here, you can see all those pages have been added and they're already in the hierarchy that I've set up for my course little module. Go into the welcome page and add some text. You can just paste it in from Word if you've already written it somewhere else. And I'm going to say welcome to eTech 565. A. And I'm going to add an image. And what I'm going to do is go up to the menu, insert image, and I'm going to point to the image in my image folder. And I'm going to add some alt text so screen readers can read it. So CTLT logo. That's the only thing to worry about. Click OK. There's my image. Now I'm going to hit return. I'm going to write some more text. And I'm going to put in here's a document to download. And again, you shouldn't have a, a many attachments. I expect a number of HTML pages and the odd, perhaps, handout that would be downloadable as a PDF or a Word doc. Uh, I do want substantive learning module. So I've now selected some highlight text. I'm going to go uh, create a link. I'm going to my image folder, point to the PDF I want to be that link. Click choose. And now I've created my link. And so now what I need to do is get my stuff up onto Moodle. So I'm going to go back to my folder here, going to select all my items, going to right click and select compress, uh, rename that file module two, that zip file. And then I'm going to go into Moodle and I'm going to add a file. So let's switch over to Moodle, go to under module two, go to uh, add a resource file. After turning editing on, file, add file, upload file, choose file, get that module two that's in my module two folder, the zip one, select it open, upload. Then I'm going to unzip that. Then I'm going to select the welcome page as the uh, first file. Uh, I got to add a name for it. I'll call it welcome. And now scroll down and worry about these other layering settings. Save and return to course. Now I'm going to turn editing off and I'm going to see if my page loads with my images correctly. So let's click into welcome. And Da, 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 da. And if I click my hyperlink, there's my PDF. Da, 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 da. So that's it, folks. Pretty straightforward. Pretty cool, eh?